Hey there guys, and welcome back to Metal Gear Solid The Twin Snakes. In the last part, we found the, uh, DARPA chief, and yes, I'm teabagging that knocked out naked soldier right about now. Just because I feel like doing it, and I know because you guys are gonna giggle about it. So, anyways. Uh, yeah. We met the DARPA chief, and the DARPA chief had a heart attack and died. So, I guess that's kind of unfortunate. And also, that woman that was in the jail cell next door escaped and is now running loose in the base. And I don't think this vent shaft is going to take us anywhere. So, we will not continue exploring it. No, what we will rather do is... Let's see, that door is closed. We will summon the elevator and wait for it to show up. Pull out the gun, just in case there's someone inside, because... You never know, because Hideo Kojima likes to mess with you. Okay, uh... Let's see, we haven't been to B2 yet, so let's go there the armory. Sweet, maybe we can pick up some new guns. Okay, here we are. The armory. Now, what can we do here? Oh! What the hell? Snake. What happened? Nobody said there were gonna be trap doors. Snake! 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 Well, that's humiliating. Okay, gonna try again and gonna avoid the trap door this time around. And there's a whole bunch of storage things here, but we only have a level 1 keycard, so we can't, like, open any of them. Except for this one, which has some SOCOM bullets, and what's in the locker? More SOCOM bullets, but our ammo is full. And that door's locked. This one's open, though. Ooh, sweet grenades. We can blow stuff up. Totally awesome. Okay, that one's a level 5 door. There's no way in hell I'm opening that. Oh, this one's... This one can be opened. And we found C4. That's... Sticky explosives. So sweet. We're really picking up some explosive weaponry right about now. And that locker won't open, so we'll just kick the door in. And then you really don't have a chance of opening it. Now, what do we do? Crap, there's another trap door. I really need to be freaking careful here. Okay, there's nothing I can do here. I guess let's just call the chief. The walls that were cemented over should look slightly different. Look at the walls carefully in first person view. Try to find the walls that have a different pattern. Could you try hitting the wall? Maybe it'll sound different too. Good idea. But make sure you don't alert the soldiers when you do it. Those C4 explosives you've got should be able to destroy the walls that were cemented over. So, let me get this straight. We have to search this entire floor for walls that are differently colored when the game does not allow you to move when looking in first person and that's the only way you're ever gonna see the walls. So yeah, what we'll do is they also said the walls sounded different when you tap on them, so we'll just have to travel through or er, past all of the walls in this entire room, continuously tapping on them like a dumbass. Because this game has kind of awkward controls for this kind of puzzle. So yeah, whoever came up with this is a bloody moron. I mean... Seriously, Hideo Kojima, you have your moments sometimes, but this is just downright stupid. I mean, I haven't even found a single wall yet that sounds different, apart from this little door here, because it's a door and not a wall. Can we blow the door open with C4? I rather doubt it. Okay, this is really, like, starting to piss me off. Do I, like, have to do with these walls as well? Oh, man. I'm not liking this. Let's see, does anything look different? Don't think so. 
Uh, this is so redundant. I swear, freaking Hideo Kojima. If I find out where you live, I'm gonna pay you a visit and tell you everything that's wrong with the Metal Gear series gameplay wise. Okay, back to wall knocking. Wait, this sounds kinda different. Let's put down some C4. And BAM! Secret room! And what's in the secret room? A stun grenade. And some M9 bullets. Well, I guess that works. But apparently that's not... I don't think that's what we're supposed to discover. I mean, that's just like a hidden bonus weapons cache. So it's back to knocking on the walls like a retard. I mean, come on, look at him. He's just shuffling past the wall, tapping with his fingers on it all the way. It's like, what the F? I mean, let's say there were some guards like walking around in the area and they saw him and they were like, what the hell is that guy doing? I uh, don't pay much attention to him. to him, he's a loon, he's just moving past all the walls and tapping on them. Wait, this one sounds kinda different too. Okay, C4. Make it go boom. Hey, another hidden bonus room. What's near chaff grenades? Trap doors apparently, lots and lots of them. And yeah, we don't have some some required weapon or something. Yada yada. I really need the to walls that were cemented. Oh yeah, it's all the same crap. We know this already. Let's call Master. Snake, you've got to think. Your mind is your most dangerous weapon. If things are getting too complicated, try to simplify your thoughts. You can also try calling Campbell for advice. Yeah, Campbell didn't give me any useful advice, and neither did you. I mean, what the hell was that, some kind of philosophical speech? Like, that's not gonna help me. Like, oh, you gotta simplify my thoughts. I mean, what could be more simple than knocking on walls? I mean, really. I'm not really making much progress either. Oh, I swear, Hideo Kojima. You sick, demented son of a bitch. You sure as hell know how to make a compelling story, but you sure as hell don't know what makes for good gameplay. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like all the Metal Gear games, apart from some minor gripes in them. Like the whole food and cure system in Metal Gear Solid 3, I mean, that is just a horrible idea. But... Yeah, this part is just downright redundant. And, yeah, I don't see anything that looks even remotely different. So, what the hell? Looks like I'm gonna need game facts on this one. Or maybe not. Uh. Well, let's see, we found everything in here already. Let's just... Wait. This sounded different. Ah, there we go. That's where we needed to go. And yeah, we don't have radar in here because they're like jamming it for some... that didn't work in certain areas like this one. How convenient. Now. Do I like... Yeah, probably gotta blow some stuff up here as well. There we go. Take a little step back. Thing is, I can't see if I'm heading the right way on the radar, but at least these walls are obviously color different. Rather than the walls in the main area. So this is rather easy. And looks like it's time for a cutscene. So what are we going to find in this room? A pillar... And some guy who looks like he's been attacked by freaking Spider-Man. Am I too late? <coughs> he's alive. 
You're the arms tech president, Kenneth Baker, right? Don't worry. I'm here to save you. No! Don't, don't, don't touch it! C4! the C4 will blow up along with the old man. So you're the one that the boss keeps talking about. And you? Special Operations Foxhound. Revolver. I've been waiting for you, Solid Snake. Now we'll see if the man can live up to the legend. This is the greatest handgun ever made. The Colt Single Action Army. Six bullets. More than enough to kill anything that moves. Now I'll show you why they call me Revolver. Draw! Alright, first boss fight of the game, or at least I think it is. Little shootout against Revolver Ocelot. And it's kind of annoying because the first person shooting stuff does not really work that well in my opinion. I mean at least not on the GameCube. The GameCube's controller, if you may know, it's kind of awkward. I mean, to go into first person view you press the Z, you press and hold the Z. And Z is pretty close to R which might get in the way of pressing uh, Z. And then you also need to press A to pull out your gun and shoot, so yeah, kinda difficult. The freaking controls, but the boss battle is not all that difficult. I love the smell. I mean, he's, he's just walking around and shooting you from all kinds of places. And he can also, like, magically bend his bullets around the walls, make him bounce. That's kinda weird, but you can see in that little meter in the top of the screen when he needs to reload and then he's not moving so you can pretty much just shoot him when he's reloading but he's taking away quite some bits of my health okay he's reloading where is he there he is blast him okay we almost got him so yeah not really all that difficult of a boss battle I expected more from apparently such a legendary sharpshooter or gunman, gunslinger, or whatever. He wouldn't be out of place in the Wild West. That's all I can say. And did we get him? Yes, we got him. So, back to the cutscene. Hmm. You're pretty good. Just what I'd expect from the man with the same code as the boss. 
It's been a long time since I had such a good fight. But I'm just getting warmed up. Stealth Camouflage! Can't you even die right? You were lucky! We'll meet again! Who are you? Skeleton! Who the hell? Oh. Can you talk? Who are you? I'm not one of them. The DARPA chief told me he gave them his detonation code. What about yours? Oh, I get it. Jim sent you. You're from the Pentagon. Answer my question. What about your code? There's no time. I... I talked. What? Now the terrorists have both codes and can launch any time. It's not like I didn't fight. I managed to resist Psycho Mantis's mind probe. He couldn't read you? How'd you do it? Surgical implants in my brain. Surgical implants? Uh, kinda like psychic insulation. Everyone who knows these top secret codes has it. Even the DARPA chief? Of course. But the DARPA chief said Mantis got his code by reading his mind. Are you sure you heard him right? Yeah. Anyway, how did they get your code? I... I never had any training on how to resist torture. <laughs> <sighs>
it looks like you had some fun with you, all right. He's not human! I tell you, he loved every second of it! What happened to your arm? He broke it. Mm, looks like you're more than even now. His was sliced off. Uh, you're a funny guy. So, the... the DARPA chief? Is he okay? Dead. What? It, it can't be! No, that's not what you promised, Jim! Now you wanna shut me up! Ah! Calm down! What's wrong with you? I just told you I was here to save you. I didn't kill the DARPA chief. He had a heart attack or something. A heart attack? Oh, don't be a fool! Anyway, the terrorists have both codes now. Oh, those boys are totally insane! They wouldn't hesitate to launch! I agree. But what do they really want? Who knows? Maybe they're like us in the arms industry. Always looking forward to the next good war. Well, I'm not gonna let these maniacs start a war today. Do you still have the card keys? Card keys? To override the detonation code. I heard you had them. No, not anymore. What? Who does then? Not the terrorists. Uh, no, that, that, that woman. Woman? Who? A soldier that was thrown in prison along with me. Prison? That female soldier? She said that she had just joined up as a new recruit. They, they threw her in prison because she refused to take part in the rebellion. A new recruit? Could that be the Colonel's niece? I gave her the key. Oh, looks like she managed to break out of here, though. I hope she's okay. I'm sure she is. She's green, but as tough as they come. But how did you know she escaped? I was in contact with her by Kodak. Until I was tied up here, that is. Kodak? Yes. She stole it from the guard. If she still has it, you should be able to contact her. I'm sure she has it. What frequency was she at? Oh, yeah. L let me tell you, it's... it's... Huh? Oh... Sorry. I forgot. Oh, that's right. It should be on the back of the package. Try to contact her. I'll contact her right away. But tell me, if this doesn't work, is there some other way to prevent the missile launch? Hmm. You need to find Hal Emmerich, one of my employees. Who's that? Uh, the, the team leader of the Metal Gear Rex project. A uh, genius at engineering, but a little bit of an oddball. If there's anyone who can figure out how to stop Metal Gear from launching, it's him. What if he can't come up with anything? Well, you'll have to destroy it. Emmerich knows how to destroy Metal Gear. Where is this Emmerich? Well, he's probably being held somewhere in the Nuclear Warhead Storage Building. It's, it's north from here. That's where he worked. I understand, but why Metal Gear? The nuclear age ended with the turn of the millennium. Oh, you're wrong. The nuclear threat hasn't disappeared. The threat is more real than ever before. The amount of spent nuclear fuel and plutonium is increasing even today. Listen, have you ever seen a warehouse full of nuclear material? No. Drums and drums of nuclear waste stack this high, as far as you can see. 
because there's still no real way to use it or dispose of it. So they just close the lid and try to pretend like it'll go away? Uh, essentially, yes. And they're not even doing a good job of storing it. Many of the drums are corroded, with nuclear waste seeping out of them. Unbelievable. Not only that, several pounds of muff are reported every year. Muff? It stands for material unaccounted for. It proves that there's a large and well-organized black market in nuclear materials. Furthermore, since the end of the Cold War, Russian nuclear engineers in particular are out of work with nowhere to turn. In other words, there's plenty of available nuclear material and scientists for making a bomb. We live in an age where any small country can have a nuclear weapons program. What about the other superpowers? The Russians and Chinese still pursue a policy of deterrence. Do you see? Complete nuclear disarmament is an impossibility. To maintain our own policy of deterrence, we need a weapon of overwhelming power. You mean Metal Gear? Yes. You know our industry suffered quite a blow as a result of the cuts in military budgets due to this so-called peace. I remember hearing a lot about mergers and takeovers among the big weapons makers. Yes. And after my company lost their bid to produce the U.S. Air Force's next line of fighter jet, the Metal Gear system was our last ace in the hole. That's why we pushed to have Metal Gear developed as a black project. Black project? Secret projects paid for by the Pentagon's black budget. You can avoid a lot of red tape and get a great lead time on your weapons production. And no one can bother you. Not even that bunch on the Military Oversight Committee. Bribes. Just call it the Military Industrial Complex. Anyway, Metal Gear was going to be formally adopted after the results of this exercise were analyzed. I don't give a crap about you or your company. Yes, that's about what I'd expect from a grunt like you. Here. This is what you came for, right? What's that? An optical disc. It's all here. The main hard drive was destroyed by gunfire. This is the only remaining copy of the data. What kind of data? All the data collected from this exercise. Don't play dumb. I know you were sent to get this. I hid it from that sadistic maniac while he was torturing me. They don't know this dis exists. Make sure that you report this to Jim. To your boss. I'll give you my card, too. It'll open up all security level two doors. Can you walk? No. You go on without me. Oh. They got my password. They don't want anything else from me. I have one more question. Who or what was that ninja thing? It looked like you knew something. Uh, that ninja? That was Foxhound's dark little secret. Dark little secret? An experimental genome soldier. <laughs> you know him? <laughs> you should ask Dr. Naomi Hunter from Foxhound. She knows better than I. Naomi? You've got to stop them. If it goes public, my my company and I are, are finished. What? Doesn't Metal Gear use currently existing technology? Metal Gear itself does, but... What? What did you do to me? No! No! It can't be! Those Pentagon bastards! So they, they, they actually went and did it! 
like another heart attack, but... Some kind of poison? Well, there are lots of drugs that can cause a heart attack in large doses. For example, potassium chloride or digoxin. But we won't be able to tell without doing an autopsy. Damn! Snake, I want you and Meryl to work together. Can I trust her? More than you can trust me. Get in contact with her. Snake, there's a lot of electrical interference coming from there. It should be okay if you do burst transmission like us, but normal transmission is probably impossible. Try moving away from that area. Snake, get a hold of yourself. Naomi, what the hell was that ninja thing? A member of Foxhound? No. Are you sure? Yes. We have no one like that in our unit. Is that right? Snake, I'm counting on you. Well, that was... long? Well, if you managed to sit through that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part of Metal Gear Solid. Bye-bye.